Hey guys, so I got talked into getting a YouTube channel. It's going to be called Laura's Off-Road Adventures. So I hope you like, share, and subscribe. The link is going to be in the description and in the comments of this video. I'm sorry, I'm new to all this. And so like, subscribe, and share. If you want to see more of me, go to my channel. Bye. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I want to thank you for stopping in and watching. Make sure you hit us a like, share, and subscribe. Let's grow the channel, grow the videos. Now, before we get into today's video, I want to tell you, as soon as we're done, which this shouldn't take too long, I wanted to walk you guys over this beast sitting right here, kind of show you some of the cool things that um, we've seen about it. And uh, me and the wife did take it out for a spin today, so we're going to talk about that. But we got to get the chore at hand taken care of first. Now, this is a KFI uh, cable saver is what I call it. I'll have a link down below as to where you can get it at. This thing right here, we're going to install it to our plow. This is a KFI open trail plow system by KFI. And this bolts right on and it's going to keep your cable at a good angle. So let's get that installed guys. I want to tell you a little bit about our website, which does sponsor most of this stuff, www.rngperformance.net. You can get uh, your CF Moto clutch kits there. I have a couple of lift kits that I stock for the U-Force 1000s. I have some um, these right here, these um, eight button switch panels. Those things are amazing. Check out my videos for that and the install on those. Now the ones I, I carry are very similar to the Oxbeam but they're not Oxbeam, and the reason why I carry them is because they're the same as Oxbeam, but they're cheaper, they're more affordable. So that's why I chose them instead of the ones with the Oxbeam name. They're the same ones, identical, just different price. I also carry battery tenders on my website. Please check those out because it's winter time, getting cold. You may need one. I'm probably going to install one on all of our machines and they come with these uh, plugs where you can permanently install it and then just plug it in when you need it. They're digital, they're awesome. Check out my website, there's tons of stuff on there. Let's go ahead and get into this and show you how to install this and what it does. Now guys, for this here install, you're gonna need some basic tools, 14 millimeter socket, pretty much all you're gonna need. And then down here, you're gonna see the four bolts across from each other. Those are the ones we're gonna wanna take out and today we're going to use an Ugga Dugger gun because she's faster. I just took this spring off real quick. You don't have to do that, but I'm crammed in a corner. So now we're going to take our plate and it comes with some longer bolts. I'm just going to want to get those down in there. Go ahead and get our nuts on. Take our Ugga Dugga, tighten it up. Now we just take this, put it down through there. Comes with a long bolt. Now you get it adjusted to where you want it. Put your bolt in. That's where I want mine. So I did have to go get a swivel and an extension. Now you just find out where your cable needs to be. Alright guys, so that was quite uh, quick and easy and painless and not painful in any way. Now I kind of wanted to show you some things about the uh, U-Force 1000 XL that we picked up. And we're going to be doing a full custom build on. So we have a bunch of stuff on order for it and um, we're waiting on some things to come to the market so that we can order them for it. This is gonna be an all winter long project and we're still gonna be working on our golf cart. I was gonna make a video on the golf cart today but then I uh, came out here and I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to order the clutch cable. So as soon as that gets in, we'll be doing another video on it. Let's give you a walk around. So guys, this thing is humongous. Let me tell you what humongous and it is super super comfortable to sit on very roomy this thing has more room in the cab than my pickup truck does i'm telling you guys there are some things that i don't like about it and i don't know a lot of what i do like and what i don't like about it yet because 
we ain't got to spend no time with it, but one thing I want to point out, I'm sure this is nitpicking. This is cheap and flimsy and oh wow, it's going to shut now, but it, it didn't want to shut yesterday at all. It was like crooked and, um, don't, I don't really like that, but it works. Now, one thing under these seats is a ton of storage. Hopefully you guys can see in there, but oh my gosh, you could fit both the kids in there. They could take a nap. So there's that, and then there's storage under here, which these nets are gonna go bye bye. I know it's kind of dark. Oh. There we go. And there's tons of storage in there too. A little dark, I know. Let's see. There we go. Tons of storage in there too. Oh man. Huge, huge storage compartment. I don't even know what that is. What is that? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Looks like right there is the ECU. That baby would be coming out. And guys, I do love this tailgate. It is very nice. Very, very nice. Pretty solid too. As you see, we was kind of using it as a workbench earlier. Guys, I also, <laughs> these mirrors are freaking a little loose, but awesome. Awesome. I like uh, I like these new mirrors, CF Moto. Super glad that you was able to do that. See yourself? See yourself? Yeah. There we go. Oh, guys, I know you've seen these headlights on, on some of my previous videos. They are awesome. We will be swapping this out for synthetic, of course. I got that in stock on the website. I believe I have one or two left. I have to order some more. But, man, I do like the high clearance control arms that come with it. Factory. Aren't those nice? High clearance, guys. I was thinking about switching those out to Super ATV ones and showing you guys how to make them fit. But I just might save my ponies and just put it in the shocks. So guys, there you have it. A quick little tour of this six seat beast. This thing is a beast. And remember I told you, me and the wife took it out today around the block. And I'll tell you what, you wouldn't think for having the same motor as the 950 and the same motor as the regular U-Force 1000 that this thing would be peppy. And I'll tell you what, it is. now. It was just me and her, it wasn't loaded down by any means, but I'll tell you what, she was definitely peppy and uh, could get squirrely pretty quick on the throttle. I don't know what I think about the Eco Sport or, or I'm sorry, it's work and normal on this, same thing, but work and normal, I don't know how I feel about that. I might uh, just switch over the ECU from a 950 because they're mapped a little bit different and then have that one tuned because I'm confident that it will work. I'm so confident, I know, because we tried it before. We didn't try it on a 1000 XL, but we did try it on a regular 1000 and it did work. So there's that. And I might be looking into doing that just to get better, more performance aspect because these are mapped a little different. But yeah, guys, stay tuned to the build. I want to thank you for watching. I just kind of wanted to show you guys that because I know a lot of you are always breaking winch cables and all kinds of stuff in the winter trying to plow. And that thing right there, is a must. I can't believe it took took a while to get here. I don't know why. It probably took, what, a week and a half or so? Maybe two weeks, give or take, to get here. But it got here nonetheless. So worth the money. I'll have a link down below. Peace out and God bless, guys. We'll see you in the next one.